Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video, I just wanted to give you a quick review of a new plugin that was just released called HMS Testimonial. And what this plugin does basically is it provides you with a way to add testimonials to your site, and it will keep track of each testimonial separately, and then you can put the testimonials into groups. And once you have your testimonials all added, then you can display them in places on your website, either using short codes or the widgets to apply them to the sidebar here. And this is actually a fairly nice little plugin, especially for it being a free plugin. There are one or two things that I'm going to mention that I think maybe they could implement that would make it slightly better. But let's just go in and uh, first let's see here. You can see here that I'm using one of the widgets on the sidebar and the different pieces of information you can enter are the testimonial itself and then the person's name and there is also a spot for a website. And you can see here that there is some bolding inside this so you are allowed to actually format the testimonials using HTML. So let's just go over into the settings. And you can see the settings for the testimonials are here on the sidebar under testimonials. And if you want to add a new testimonial, you just click on add new. You put the person's name here and they have an example. You can see that you can put HTML around parts of their name if you want to to emphasize it. And you can also include a business name or, you know, like CEO of something or other, which is kind of a nice feature. And then if you want to, you can include their website here in this box. And then the testimonial goes here. And over on this side, you've also got a spot for groups. So you can add the testimonial to not only one group, but multiple groups. And you can use this to display appropriate groups of testimonials on different pages and in different locations. And once you've entered all the details, then you just click on Save Testimonial. And if you want to list all the testimonials, you can find those over here under the Testimonials submenu item. And here you can get a preview of what the testimonial looks like, whose name, the testimonial itself, and you can delete any of these, and you can also get the short code for the testimonial. Now you also can drag and drop these to set the display order, so if I wanted that one to display at the bottom, then that's all I would have to do. Now there is one feature that is missing here, and that is that you can see there's a delete action, but there's no action to actually edit the testimonial once you've added it. So if you forgot something, you'll have to add it again, which is sort of a, a shortcoming. But as this is a pretty new plugin, maybe that's something that they will fix in the future. Now also, I mentioned the groups feature. And if you go into groups, you can just add a new group and give it a name like their example is government testimonials. So I'm just going to copy and paste that one in there and then click Save Group. And once you go back to your testimonials, you can see that there's actually no way to add them to a group group unless you have the group already set up. So that is another little shortcoming of the plugin. Like I said, it's it has some nice features, but it, it feels like because it's the first iteration of the plugin that it's maybe not quite finished. Now down here in the bottom, you've also got the documentation, which shows you how to change the way that the testimonials are. You can drag and drop. And there's also the short codes here. So you can just get all of your testimonials with this short code. You can display only a particular group, or if you have the ID, then you can display just one particular testimonial. And you can place these short codes in the posts or the pages. For the sidebar, they also have widgets. They have two, one that just displays all, a group, or a single testimonial. And then another thing that's really nice is that they also have a rotating widget that will show one at a time of an entire list or group, and it'll swap them out after a certain number of seconds. So the, the one that was being displayed will fade out, and then the next one will show. So let's just go into the widgets. I'll just show you really quickly how to use that one. You can see that I've got the straight testimonials here. This is the, the regular one, and for a single one or a group, you have to enter the ID and you can choose how many of the testimonials to show and zero will make it show all of them. So let's get rid of this one now and let's go to the rotator. See, I'm just going to drag this over here and I can seconds between 10. So let's just click on save and go out here to the site and look there. And now you can see here that there is only one of the testimonials. And if we wait long enough, 
it will fade out and the next one will fade in as you've just seen there. So it's the start of a very nice little plugin that will help you with uh, your testimonials. And as we know, testimonials are very important for social proof and they actually will cause people who might be considering buying a product to be more serious about that because they can see that other people have had a good experience. Now there is one other feature that I feel would be really useful to this plugin and maybe they'll incorporate it in the future, but you'll notice that we have here only text and it has been pointed out in numerous studies that the appearance of a person's face with the testimonial gives that testimonial more impact. And so that might be something that maybe the team building this plugin might want to consider adding as well. Now, because you can do HTML, you can implement that yourself if you wanted to just by putting the image into the HTML, but it, it does take a lot longer to have to do it yourself. And I also feel that the testimonial editor box actually would benefit from having the tiny MCE uh, visual editor included so that you could do it really quickly because the way it is right now you have to do all the formatting by hand and that's a little bit slow but like I said really nice little plug-in and, and I think that maybe they'll add some more features in the future that would make it even more useful. So that's it for this video review of the HMS testimonial plug-in and I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.